Why did they post this? Lord Jesus. Oh my gosh, my boss is coming. Yes, I'm working on that report. I'm working on it. Is this behavior familiar to you? Is it that this is something you can relate to? Or perhaps it's somebody quite close to you? Do you find that you tend to take this mentality, this practice, this activity into your personal walk? with the lord whereby you think that the lord isn't physically here with me so i can slack up a bit i can do my own thing i can you know chill a little i mean it's not that serious the lord isn't gonna see what i'm doing the lord isn't gonna um chastise me because he is he isn't quite physically here to um reprimand me for a particular activity let's hear what the lord has to say this week on reflective hands about that particular mentality about that particular practice it is entitled we are salvation supervisors hallelujah thank you jehovah we thank you so very much for another time of refreshing in your presence. I thank you so much that we have the opportunity to fellowship with one another, to fellowship in the word, to fellowship um, just in our meditation. So assess where we are and assess where it is that you desire us to be. We ask that you dwell in our midst today and just have your way as we meditate on your word and on your will for our lives. Come, sweet Holy Spirit, and dwell among us, we pray. Amen. So, hi everybody. My name is Melika Smith, and I am here to share the heart of Reflective Hands. This week, the focus is entitled, We Are Salvation Supervisors. The focus text is taken from Philippians 2, verses 12 to 13. This is what it says. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but no much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. So, whenever I read Philippians 2 verse 12, I constantly hear the voice of my mother saying, Listen to me. Stop watching people. Do not consider what it is that they are doing. Don't become so bogged down by what it is that others are doing. Because every man has to work out his own salvation. You can't do it for them. Rightly so. This line of words was just etched in my mind, especially when I found out that this was actually scriptural. So, this is what the word of the Lord says. My dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but in my absence, much more, it says, much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose now there are two things that I have found that most of us would definitely relate to in our lives whether it is that we are working going to school or have any form of supervision in any area of our lives firstly we tend to work more devotedly when we are in the actual presence of our bosses. I don't know, but for some strange reason, there is just something in the psychology of some of us that somehow tells us that we can ease up. Ease up from the work at hand when our bosses, parents, supervisors, pastors, and 
so on are not directly in our midst that's one second thing that i've observed is that we can all attest that when these parents or bosses or supervisors or leaders or whatever they are they are leaving us whenever they are going away um, from our physical space and they are leaving behind a particular set of responsibilities to be covered right they would normally ensure that they leave somebody in charge right in charge during their absence he or she would usually assign an individual or two or more to supervise and to manage the business or the affairs of the home or facility until they returned. In addition to their departure, they would always, or these instructions would always, well, this person who is in assignment, they would be always given a particular set of written or verbal expectations of some kind once those persons would have received those instructions and recommendations they would know automatically that those those tasks must be executed with fear and trembling with reverence and honor with the ultimate aim of completing the tasks that were set before us we must complete it, those persons must complete it with excellence and precision. Without much hesitations, we know that whatever it is going to take, <laughs> if it is that we are the ones left in charge especially, we know that whatever it is going to take for us to get it done, we have to exert our best to get that task done. So guess what? Today, Philippians 2, 12 to 13 is basically telling us that Jesus is our boss in this business called salvation. Of course, we clearly are the supervisors he has left in charge until he returns. Now, this is quite a task, I, I will admit. But guess what? Jesus has left us for a little while, just like our bosses would have been on you know, a business trip or parents gone on vacation, whatever. Jesus has left us he has returned to heaven to take care of some business you know the scriptures tell us that he has gone to prepare a place for us so that where he is we may also be so he has left us for a little while and he has left us with the mandates to rule and have dominion on the earth whilst he's gone now just as our parents and our bosses would have expected us to obey and appropriately manage and complete our tasks in their absence so too does jesus our salvation boss expects us to finish our work of salvation as well i'm hoping that we won't get dismayed and discouraged and distressed when we look at the amount of work that our hands will have to get done but instead may we make use of the help that the lord jesus has left behind for us our jesus boss has left behind a manual you know written instructions for us to take heed to he has left for us um resource personnel through the person of the holy spirit um to help to guide us whilst it is that we are conducting this business upon the earth let us therefore make good effort to be delighted and diligent in our own work fiwi work my work your work and ensure that our work of salvation is perfected and completed for when our master jesus returns i hope we will not aim to replay our childhood tendencies where we would waste away the greater and more precious portion of the day and when it is that we notice that mommy daddy or our boss is around the corner just you know coming in we start running off we spread up the bed we start running to sweep out the house we start running to um cut up the chicken we start running to wash out the bathroom or whatever it is that they would have left left us to do from in the morning or from a week before or the weekend before once we see them coming around the corner we start rushing to do these things and of course we cannot get it done in that portion of time of course we cannot do a an, an exceptional job 
when it is that we are rushing and we have so little time you know to do it of course it's going to be a horrid half done and quite horrendous um job um in the end right so i'm hoping that in like manner we will not wait until we are too old wait until we are sick and almost useless in the kingdom of god don't wait until that point to actually start fulfilling the expectations the lord has left for us to do seriously none of us really know the day nor the hour when our jesus boss will return and so it is important for us to use the time wisely until he comes i mean like that just makes sense may we revere and handle this work of salvation working out our salvation may we do it with pride may we use the resources as i said we have through the holy spirit and may we ensure that we are doing his goodwill with fear and trembling even in his absence so let's hurry up let us pray father we praise you as we recognize you as our lord and king we not only recognize you as our friend and comforter but we recognize you as our boss our jesus boss in this business of salvation i pray mighty god that not just for myself but for my sisters for my parents lord for my friends for my family members lord god even for those persons who i may not know but me being true to this this video today i pray jesus that you will help all of us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling mighty god in your absence oh god almighty i pray that we will take it seriously father and honor you in our walk honor you in our relationships honor you in our conversations honor you in our everyday interactions our devotion to you all together mighty god that you will be pleased when you shall put in your blessed return father please help us to take you seriously have your way among us we pray in the name of jesus i pray amen i must must thank you for tuning in to reflective hands this is where i share my stories for god to get his glory i want to thank you for tuning in thank you for listening i hope that you'll be able to share this with a friend as we anticipate what the lord will have to say to us on next week's episode of reflective hands take care and god bless you